This is how the first Lithuanian space nanosatellite, LITSAT-1, looks like. It was successfully launched into space from NASA Center in the United States of America in 2014 and successfully completed the planned mission. This satellite was developed in one of the largest and most modern centers in Lithuania. In other words, in the National Open Access R&D Center within Kaunas University of Technology. The university actively cooperates with business companies. Therefore, the findings of research undertaken at the university often become innovations and widely used products or services. Companies often seek standard services. We can provide more than 1,000 of them. For example, to analyze the material's qualities such as thickness, adhesion, compressive strength. Also, we can offer specialized services such as the development of individual technologies which require exceptional competencies of staff and special research equipment. In the state-of-the-art laboratories of our university's open R&D, global innovations are being created by globally recognized research groups. The laboratories we house are among the best in Europe. For example, more than 50 ultrasound researchers applied in various industries are carried out in Professor Kazimierz Bashowska's Ultrasound Research Institute. The scientists from the Institute have developed various advanced ultrasound research methods and technologies. One of them is applied for testing the fuel tanks. In order to test the fuel tanks for leaks by conventional methods, they must be empty. Therefore, the process takes time and is costly. The scientists of Kaunas University of Technology developed the modern ultrasound testing method, which is effective and fast. We developed the equipment, which can be applied without pumping out and cleaning the fuel tank. Ultrasound wave signals are identified and measurements are made from the outside. This method allows us to detect possible defects inside the fuel tank caused by corrosion. The scientists from the Institute have developed the methods and technologies that help to perform the ultrasound examinations of the condition of wind turbine blades and to identify their defects. Moreover, they help to identify the properties of liquid plastic used in manufacturing of plastic products, i.e. density, viscosity, while it is still in the extruder. At the Institute of Materials Science, 13 doctors of science and researchers, as well as engineers, undertake scientific research and provide analytical technological services. The Institute also houses the Clean Room, which is furnished in compliance with ISO 5. High technologies are being developed there by using modern electronic lithography, ultraviolet light, nano-imprint lithography, deep reactive iron etching, and electronic evaporation equipment. For example, the Institute can develop and produce the whole cycle of optical security elements, from conception to its printing. The cycle includes all technological steps from the customized design to the final product, which can be used for protection of documents, for authenticity of various checks, etc. Among our customers are state institutions and business companies. It is important to note that originally holographic security measures were made by us here in Lithuania. The scientists of Kaunas University of Technology also work with various carbon forms, develop various sensors which can monitor the mechanical loads in real time, register the changes of refractive index of various media, as well as micro and nano devices, micro electromechanical systems, micro optical elements, and the microstructures as scaffolds for stem cells. In the center of real time computer systems, the modern smart systems collecting and processing information are being displayed. Those products have their direct application in real life, for example, in smart home systems. We face the problem of how to connect the different things in the environment in order for them to communicate with each other. For example, a refrigerator with a TV, a TV with a heating system or a mobile phone. Our world is surrounded by various things and they communicate through the Internet of Things. The smart systems developed at the university can not only meet the needs of a user, but also offer to order various services upon the customer's request. The Center of Real-Time Computer Systems develops and markets approximately three new products or technologies a year. This invention is patented in Europe 
the United States of America and the EU. The radical innovation, in other words, the first non-invasive intracranial pressure meter in the world developed by the researchers of the Institute, has already been used for intracranial pressure monitoring of NASA astronauts. More than 30% of astronauts' intracranial pressure increases and optic nerve swells in the space, causing blindness. The device developed by Lithuanians helps to research this still uncontrollable syndrome to select the candidates who are the most suitable for missions. Scientists have tried to measure the intracranial pressure without using invasive methods for more than a hundred years. However, all attempts had failed. No one had thought of the principle of balance. We found the pressure sensor with one segment in the brain and another one in the orbit behind the eyeball. It is the ophthalmic artery, arteria ophthalmica. Thus, we developed the technology which allows using this artery as the balance by adding pressure to the closed eyelids, to the eyeball and the surrounding tissues. Unique ultrasound research, smart systems, non-invasive intracranial pressure meter, various micro and nano devices, it is only a small part of the inventions and products developed by researchers from National Open Access R&D Center within Cornus University of Technology. Please contact the Management Department of Open Access Center for more information.